I am literally surrounded by books. This is going to be a long video. Hello friends, I am here in my little corner today to do a book haul. Um, this is the cabinet where I keep all of my overflow books that don't stick on my shelves. So I have pulled them out onto the floor, I pulled them up onto the shelf, and I'm going to talk about every book that I got in July, August, and September. The funny thing is, is that they get progressively bigger the further we go on. July is my smallest stack. I don't remember what order I got these in, but every book here was sent to me for a review from the publishers, which is awesome. I got Heat Wave, which is the third book in the Extraordinary series by TJ Klune. It just came out in paperback, so I got one. The Prince and the Apocalypse, which is from Wednesday Books. It's a YA. Why do I have two of them? One of them is an arc and one of them is finished, but they look pretty much the same. There's just that little thing there that tells you the difference. Did I get both of them in that month or did I just stick them together? I don't remember. Avon sent me Love at First Set, which is an LGBTQ adult romance. Celadon sent me the Connellys of County Down. Really cool because it came with a little notepad. St. Martin sent me Gone Tonight by Sarah Pekinen, which is a thriller. I got Yellow Face by R.F. Kwong. I did a book tour for this, so the book tour company sent me this. Kind of matches my shirt, and so does the next one. I got Colson Whitehead's Crook Manifesto from Doubleday. And that is everything I got in July. Like I said, it was a smaller stack. Eight books there, though, so I guess it's not that small. But comparatively, when you see August and September, you'll know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna do this carefully. Oh, they fell. So I can't even hold up August because there's just so many and they all fell down anyways. This is absurd. So Bloom Books sent me the entire series of the Four Horsemen series by Laura Thalassa. So there's Famine, Death, War, and the first one is Pestilence. So I think I went backwards five, five, four, three, two, one, but this is the first book. Um, so that's fun. The whole series, they're kind of big, which is fine. So I got sent. Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen. Um, and they have really cool sprayed edges. And they also sent me a little card to get the um, third book on audio. Or was it ebook? It was a digital download of the third book. So I have the third book, just not physically here to show off. I think these are so pretty. Loom Books also sent me Pretty Reckless by LJ Shen. Wednesday Books sent me Gwen and Art Are Not In Love. I got a cool package from Random House Books, um, all YA or middle grade. Um, the City of Ember graphic novel. The Mona Lisa Vanishes. The Dark Lord's Daughter. Something like Home. And Eagle Drums. Tor sent me a box that had hardcovers of Wolf Song and Raven Song. I previously had the Ark of This, but now I have the hardcovers. Chronicle Books sent me Gum Luck the Wizard and Polly Diamond in the Topsy Turvy Day, both kid books. Yvonne sent me Between Us by Mari McFarlane. Pantheon sent me The Woman Destroyed. Penguin Teen sent me I Feed Her to the Beast and the Beast is Me. Also got this graphic novel called Cardboard Kingdom. Also got Ripe and Book of Queens. So that was everything for August. Now, September is when things got a smidge out of hand. I'd love to blame it on the fact that September is my birthday month, but out of all of these books, I only purchased one myself. The rest were sent to me. So, I have like stacks of books around me, so I'm just going to jump in. I have Paper Dragons, Cool for Invisible Boys, Shira and Esther's Double Dream Debut, Hatchet Girls, there's No Way I Die First, Soulless, no, 
the Society for Soulless Girls. Yeah, borrow a boyfriend club. Nell of Gumbling and Alex Wise versus The End of the World. And these are all either YA or middle grade. Amanda Post sent me a very generous package of the box set of the first three books in American Royals and the new hardcover of the newest one, Rain. So I have that entire series now. So got another very generous package. Very generous package um, from them. The entire box set of the Steel Heart series by Brandon Sanderson. Vaughn sent me a knockout this month by Sarah McLean. Okay, so I have another stack of YA middle grade books that I'm just gonna fly through. So I have The Only Girl in Town by Ali Condi, Heart Still Beating by Brooke Archer, uh, The Breakup List, I have Magic Girls. Kira and the Maybe Space Princess. This one's a graphic novel. I have Blood City Rollers, which is another graphic novel. Isabel in Bloom. Ariel Crashes a Train. And These Bodies Between Us. I think the rest that I have are all adult books, but they might be all mixed up. I have Thin Skin, which is essays. Might be YA. This is The Meadows. Big Swiss. Other Birds, The Fury, Cleat Cute, so excited for this one, The Haunting, and then the only book that I bought myself that month was Divine Rivals. I have one more pile of books to go through and then I'll be done with this Gigundo book haul. I also have a big stack of picture books that were sent to me over the course of these three months. I don't know what book came in which month. I did not keep that good of track. So I will also just fly through these. How cat. Say I love you. Mostly me. Reef is an elephant. Destruction site taking flight. Spectacular miracles of nature. Birds of a feather. Together we swim. Pebbles and the biggest number. Stickler loves the world. Autumn pelter water warrior. Nothing ever happens on a gray day. Now that is everything that I got in July, August, and September. I would love to say that my book acquiring has slowed down but once you see October's book haul next month you will you'll be ashamed of me I think so that is everything for today and I will see you guys in the next one bye